<laughs> you heard a clunking, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, we're up here. That was a fun climb. Nothing too crazy, but it is honestly a really fun one. This is one of my favorite obstacles at this trail. And if you do not recognize where we are, we are at Scotch Line in Minden Hills. And I honestly love this obstacle just because it's super easy and it's super satisfying to drive up because you basically are just staring at the sky the whole time, but there's no like drop offs or divots. This one's it came easy. About this. <laughs> oh yeah. This one's easy. You just go straight up yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, get down. Uh no the thing is the So you can see, it almost looks like a wall, and I'm about to fall on my ass, but... Yeah, this one's super easy. You just go straight. Just straight. Yeah, you just keep it straight the whole way. And you've got the blue beast just running up this thing <laughs> those 40s really do make a difference honestly anything on 40s just walks these trails
about seven coming up. I'll get out of the way okay, for you guys. So yeah, we'll take a break for a couple minutes, let them pass us, we'll regroup, and then we'll keep on going and keep on exploring. looks sweet. You really don't see these often. Oh man, that's clean. That's beautiful. Nice man, nice. Have a great day. Yep, we we're gonna go and turn around at the water crossing. Yeah. Wait, the big water crossing. It, it, it's right. It's coming up. It's coming up. Yeah. All right. So now everybody passed, and it is just the four of us again. So I think the four of us are gonna continue on. There is a little bit more of the trail to go, and then there is two large water crossings, which I have heard you are not supposed to go through because the trail does not continue on past those anymore. Regardless, I don't know if we're gonna be doing them anyway. One, because it's getting dark. Two, because uh, nobody wants to flood their stuff. And three, because I've already done that side of the trail and there's like literally nothing there. I can show you guys if you want. Check out the last video of me being here. We went to that side. It's not much more interesting than what you see here behind me right now. So basically, we're gonna get to the two water crossings and then we're gonna turn around, but we are gonna take a different, uh, different, a different way out than we took in. I don't know why I can't talk right now. The sun hit me in the eyes and I just went stupid. So we're gonna take a different way out than we took in and we will hit a few different obstacles. But I think I will be giving you guys a second video for the way out because I do like to include a good amount of trail footage. Whatever is interesting at least, or hopefully it's interesting, let me know. <laughs> but uh, definitely I will give you guys a second video for coming out so that you guys can see basically what happened on the way in and what happened on the way out. And you guys get the whole story and the whole picture and a better amount of footage and a better amount of videos. So basically, let's go and let's continue the trail, let's finish the trail and let's go have a good time because there's some good obstacles on our way out and still ahead of us right now. So, let go. tumble there and when I fell I kind of like cracked my neck back and oh buddy let me tell you I feel that right now jeez but he made it <laughs> he's on the other side Can't say I've seen one of those overlanding rigs before, but uh, hey, if it works, it works. Now, I'm good. I think I'll be all right. I think I'll survive. And let's go meet up with Darnell on the other side over there.
perfect. Beautiful.
Very good. Right? Yeah, yeah. Keep that stance. Okay. And then now, just a little bit driver. You're good. Beautiful. Same with you. I'll let you know when your back tire's clear to go a little driver. Oh, I would go a lot more driver now. Beautiful. How did you manage to? I guess on that flexing right there. Okay. So yeah, we got to put that back in. Because <laughs> if you don't, it's gonna pop your tire, right? Eh? Well, I won't be able to move anyways. <laughs> you heard a clunking, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so I think I should just go forward, back in my my passion my driver wheel there. Let's flex it. Hmm. Right. But won't it rub on the? Well, it's gonna rub no matter what on the tire. Yeah. I know. You know what I mean, I'm gonna have to let it. I just noticed that when I was putting the dog in, I said, "Shit." <laughs> well, let's just watch it. I'm just gonna back up to here and just flex it out. There's a rock there too. It's actually jammed in there. The weight of the vehicle's still on it because of the perch is like on two coils down. Like I can't move it. It's oh, well, I can wiggle it, but the weight of the vehicle's on it. Okay, so I'm gonna probably go on a more of a straighter angle. Yeah, you need to somehow flex the back out a bit more. Okay, it's out. Go forward a bit, slowly. Little more, little more. Just roll very lightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh. So I can get it out, but I can't get it back in. Like there's not enough room. So go back, and we'll we'll take it out at least, and then we'll try to get her in. Okay. Oh. It was out for a second. Doesn't look wet. Your brakes look okay. It doesn't look wet. Hey, my front. I have no brakes. Yeah, yeah. 
Where is it coming from? Yeah. Watch yourself. Oh, it is from the reservoir. From where? If you have no brakes, it might be coming from the reservoir. Oh, it's coming from right here. Like, cause it's coming. No, no, it's coming from top. It's coming down. Is yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop the hood. Yeah, I must have popped the brake line. And a spring. Yeah, it's dripping from here. So that's right from the fitting or from the cylinder? Can you press the brake, you don't mind? Yeah. I'll see. Right there. Again? Oh, right there, I see it. You see it? Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. That's a fitting, I think. Yeah, I could probably tighten it, maybe. It's kind of leaking from right there. I've got tools in the back. I got some tools, too. Um, so the spring was out while you were up flexed for a second. Like right now it's... Okay, you want to try uh, backing her up? I can, yeah. There's no brakes though. <laughs> I just got to hold it in the clutch, I guess, right? Yeah. Fucking right. Thank you, mate. Thank you, mate. <laughs> All right, looks like we got the spring back in. Oh, awesome. It looks like nothing ever happened. Nope. Hey puppy, you find yourself a new stick? Is that yours? Can I have it? Can I have it? No? Okay, it's yours. Okay. Okay. Good dog. <laughs> she didn't complain much. So good. <laughs> She's such a good puppy. So check out where the water level is over there and like where we are. Like the water is a good two feet higher than the ground level here. It's up to here. It's kind of weird, isn't it? I hope it comes through on camera. <laughs> and that is all my batteries for the day well we have pretty much made it to the big water crossing if you guys are familiar with this trail this trail is called scotch line and there is the porta potty or what remains of a porta potty <laughs> i don't know exactly what happened to it but i guess uh, i got run over at some point by somebody now we are going to do the loop back starting off here 
going out and doing a few obstacles that we haven't done yet in this video. And definitely if you guys want to check that out, then follow along and jump down there, hit that subscribe button because this video is over, but this trail isn't over. And we definitely have a lot more mods, adventures and trail rides for you to come in the future. So definitely jump down there, hit that subscribe button. But right now, like I said, we are pretty much done. I'd say everybody had a pretty good day, no damage. Everybody did great out here. For somebody that's out here for their first time, he did better than anybody that I've ever brought out here for their first time or anybody that's gone off-roading with us for their first time. He barely even needed spotting. He needed spotting for like two, three obstacles and the rest of it, he just killed it. So, awesome. good Thanks. job, man. Thanks a lot, bro. Yeah, awesome day. Amazing. I think everybody had a great day. The TJ, a little bit of a shakedown run on the TJ. Not my TJ, but Darnell's TJ. And uh, the spring came out, but we got it back in. Everything else is good. So I think we are good to go. And like I said, we're going to continue along the trail but this video will be over. So if you guys want to see the rest of the trail, jump down there, hit that subscribe button. The rest of the trail will be posted soon. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then guys, ride safe out there. Peace.